Hey, welcome to JG3 Reviews. My name is James, and I review fountain pens, and yeah, that's that's what I got for you today. This is the Kegelu 316A. Not a new pen, but an updated pen for 2021 with some trim changes, material changes, and things like that. And, and, this time, I got a medium nib. I know a lot of you like those medium nibs with lots of, of material there at the writing tip. Well, guess what this one's got? A gorgeous medium buttery smooth nib. Am I giving am I giving some things away too soon? Well, then let's just flip the camera and jump right in. Okay, let's get a look at the resin first on this 316A. Just take a look at that. You can see flashes of chatoyancy. You can see the converter inside because of translucency. You can see all kinds of things. Black uh, not squirrels, but uh, swirls and white swirls and this beautiful blue resin. And it just really, really nice. I'll put this on the turntable in just a second when we do specifications. But just look at how nicely done this pin is. And this trim band, I also like. That is a change, one of the changes from the older 316, which is still a striking pin in its own right. And certainly that resin just is, uh, you might prefer that resin uh, to this one, but I, I really like them both. But uh, they've gone from the two uh, gold tone bands to this new, uh, reminds me of the Infinity Badge when the Infinity Car Company first came out and had this kind of a belt buckle badge on the front of the car. I think there's been another pin that reminded me of that before. But this is uh, the new trim. And then they also have body resin matching finials at both the top and the bottom of the barrel. And this end, very flat. You can stand this on end if you have a, a good level spot, uh, at your own risk, of course. And of course, at the top of the finial, you have that kangaroo, the Kigaloo kangaroo, which I just really like. This is one of the things that I think is charming about the Kigaloo brand. And I like that they have a distinctive logo, and, and so that's good. Separate themselves out from all the other Parker Duofold Centennial uh, look-alikes or look-similar twos uh, that are out there. And I like that this update uh, makes some changes, even though really, really like this pin. Among those changes are not just the bands and not just the matching finials, but also uh, this is a much lighter pin, as you'll see in those specifications. I'll put the weight for both of them up so that you can see the difference. And some of that difference is in the thickness of the resin, which I'll show you in just a second. First, let's take a look at that nib. Get that a little bit brighter and closer. And it is a two-tone steel number six nib. This is a medium. And as you can see, plenty of material on that nib. Now, uh, Kaikalu does have some uh, calligraphy nibs that are out, and I'm going to bring a review of my experience with that here soon. I have one in a couple, or actually I have two, in a couple of other pens, and I'll share that with you. But one thing that this does allow you to do, if you want to uh, spend a little extra on a nib, is you can swap out a lot of different number six nibs into this pen. It's just uh, easy pull out to swap those out. And this one has enough material on it. Let's say you wanted to try grinding your own nib or you wanted to have a nib ground, but you didn't necessarily want it to be done on a, a more expensive pen. Maybe the first time you uh, check out a particular nib grinder. Well, this nib has a lot of material to work with. I, I think you could probably do something pretty handy with that. Anyway, I do love to that kangaroo there on the nib. Too. Now, I will tell you, because I noticed this in my first Kaikalu that I ever had, is that the gold tone is just a little bit off on the kangaroo, but it seems to be every uh, one of these that you'll ever see. So we're just going to call that a feature and uh, not a, a problem. I asked for that feedback, and that's, that's pretty much the feedback that I got last time. You will also notice that another change the grip section is also resin color, whereas before it was black with gold trim. Again, I think that looks good too. A little hard to get that in there behind the camera. Uh, but that is a change, and a lot of people really like it when uh, these are matching. I like both, but I do kind of like the matching resin even better. 
just kind of a nice touch. Plenty of turns to get that off, and then you get uh, to the converter, which as you can see is quite full at the moment, but that is an included converter and uh, international standard. Con no, no, no. Let me double check that and I'll put it up there. Uh, my memory just failed on me, but it does come with a converter. Hagelu, stamp and the model number stamped into uh, the feed section here, and this is Metal, really nicely made pen. One thing about Kaigaloo pens, they're well put together, good materials, and uh, they, there's a reason that they have the good reputation that they have. Let's look at that barrel and those differences. So as you can see, look at all that light coming in. You can see all the way down that barrel as the light comes in from the sides and from uh, my light above me. But look at that beautiful blue. It's like looking down a tunnel of water. Anyway, uh, you can see here the thickness. Let me get this other one. Do this quickly. That just rolled off the mat, I promise. I didn't throw that across the desk. And a little bit darker, as you can see, just because of the, the difference in the resin. And probably that black end cap blocks a little bit of light. But as you can see, there is a little bit of a thickness difference, but not a lot. It's just lighter. Some of that is going to be this, uh, this end cap. I can, you can feel the weight difference of the black one and uh, the resin. So some of it is going to be that, a perceived thickness difference, but uh, there is just just a little bit. Anyway, or maybe just they tunneled it out a little bit more. It kind of does look like that. It looks like they left more uh, on the left than on the right. Might be my imagination. But uh, anyway, definite weight difference. Now let's put this on the wheel and look at the specifications. Okay, this is a good uh, securely posted cap. Makes for a little bit of a of a long pin, but if you're familiar with the dual fold type pins, then you know how this feels. Being a light pen, it is a little back weighted, but but not bad at all. Certainly long enough to write with unposted as well. So you have the Kai glue. A little bit of railroading there. That's probably due to my long talking. 16A. And this is a medium nib, very, very smooth, just buttery smooth. And I, I mentioned before, there's a lot of material at the, the tip of this nib, and that makes it a good writer. Pelican Royal Blue is what I've got in it right now. This is a staple ink for me and for a lot of other people as well. With good reason. Plenty of ink is getting to that paper. So let me just be quiet and let you listen. Now, let me tell you, my microphone tends to amp up when I get quiet. Can't seem to make it stop doing that. So sometimes it exaggerates. Really, really nice. All right, as you can see, that just writes really, really smoothly, very well, better than I do today. I'm a little bit under the weather actually today due to a smoke coming in from a fire three counties away. Hope all those people are okay and homes are okay and everything, but man, has it got me messed up and feeling really nasty this evening. So anyway, the pen, the pen is great. I gotta tell you, I really do like it. And uh, I was impressed with, this was my first uh, Kegaloo, Kegaloo pen, and I was very impressed with it and I, I use it often and just 
The only problem is this, this pen is distracting. That resin, of the two, it's still my favorite, but I do love the vividness of this newer pen. Let's do a quick size comparison. So there is the 316A 2021 edition. This, of course, is going to be the same size in terms of length and diameter and all that good stuff of the uh, older edition of this pen. And here is for something maybe familiar if you don't have a Kaigaloo or a Duofold like pen, there is the Lamy All Star in this year's special edition in that azure color. Really like that color as well. This is my infamous Karandash 849, and I will be reviewing that pen and how it has or hasn't been dealt with uh, in a uh, review soon. Another pen here that might be familiar to some in size, or at least a pen like it. This is the 2021 uh, or 2020, I forget, 2021, whatever it was, whichever, I can't tell the calendar anymore. The reissue of the Parker 51. You got what I'm saying, right? Uh, coming up, I will also have a review of the newer Kaigaloo uh, in their range of pens, the 356. You can blame that one on Doug Rathman. <laughs> I was watching his review of that pen, and the next thing I knew, I had a whole envelope uh, full of Kaigaloo things. Uh, but uh, I will share that review in the next week or so as well. All right. God bless you. I hope that you have a great week, and I will see you in the comments and in the next review. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.